Get your back! That's Anthony Barr! No! No! <laughs> Anthony Barr! With the monster TFL! Holy shit, he zoomed through those blocks! Oh my god, electronic arts? Go fuck yourself! Darren Waller. Darren Waller, get out of bounds! No! Horrible animation, I think it's over. Oh! Oh my fucking god, wait a minute! That's a golden ticket! No shot! Oh! He fumbled! Shot! <laughs> oh! Wait, what? I have no idea what just happened! Oh, he's a subscriber! Dude, that's awesome. Andy's a Lions fan. What a holy wolfie. Hey, thanks for playing me, bro. Go get him. Go get him! Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, I've never wanted something so bad in my whole life. Let's not forget where we came from. We almost ended Wheel of Mutt one month ago, but I got booted after going three and four. Oh my god, electronic arts? Go fuck yourselves. You're the saddest excuse. How many tens of millions of dollars do you fuckers make? So we decided to revamp. And week one, we took on the Tennessee Titans. And a narrow victory, but a victory nonetheless. We take them 22 to 15. After that, another close one possession ball game, but we take the dub 21 to 17. In week three, we played the Eagles and they had our number, losing 16 to 25 in a tough match. Week four, I got one of the quickest rage quits of my life, which led us to a resounding W, 38 to 10. That is how you respond to adversity. Nobody could stop us except the chimpanzees deep in the depths of the jungle of the Amazon. As every single orangutan at Electronic Arts banded together to smash the one aluminum server they have running this game, which led to two, not one, but two disconnects in some close games. And the game after that against the Steelers, I'm winning 16 to seven, and the final orangutan had had it and turned the servers off once again. So that put us in a difficult scenario, four and three. One more loss and we're booted. We needed three wins to take us all the way to the playoffs. So what did we do? We got a one possession dub against the Chiefs and against Kowchuk, the greatest game I have ever played. A 19 to 18 victory held together by a two point conversion pick two by none other than Anthony Bar, our power-up player. And finally, that left us at six and three, where we took on the Lions, our own home team, with a dominating 20 to 11 victory, propelling us into the playoffs. Next up in the wild card, we had an easy, a rage quit in the wild card playoff game. Divisional was also a resounding dub. We played a good player, but on the goal line, we were unstoppable. He would march all the way down and get stonewalled, which led us to the conference championship. We are steep rolling the playoffs but none of it matters it's just another season if we don't get the super bowl and the super bowl is today ladies and gentlemen episode number 78 is that what we've landed on 79 i want to thank each and every one of you some of you may have watched every single episode this season of wheel of mutton some of you may be new some of you may skip around but holy shit 78 or 79 god tier episodes of the best madden content you can find and i have nobody to thank except Except for the boys, each and every one of you, I love you so much. And to thank every single one of you, I'm gonna get the fattest fucking W today! Clutch up our fifth, possibly sixth Super Bowl ring, and without a doubt, I don't know how many rings we have right now, but this, if I win, will be the most rings I've ever had in a Wheel of Mutt. We will get our fifth Super Bowl ring, and this will go down as the best season of Wheel of Mutt ever, but to do that, we've got two wheel spins, a challenge wheel, and a fat, fat W to potentially secure. Booper Bob, the prestige wide receiver. He's incredibly physical, such a beast. Ed Two Tall Jones, one of the stupidest, most broken cards that's ever come into Madden. And now because of it, he has a golden ticket wide receiver and corner. Najee Harris, actually unstoppable. Ever since we got him, he has virtually carried the team. Josh Allen has been spectacular, rarely misses throws, identifier, gunslinger, hot route master. Larry Zonka, the Zonklers. Where could we be without him? 93 overall, but he blocks like a beast. D DK Metcalf also a prestige. His prestige ended up being amazing only because of the DK Metcalf corner who was 
very clutch in the secondary for us, but his wide receiver, other than when the most feared card came out, hasn't been very useful. There is a golden ticket, but as you guys know, it hasn't come out yet, and I gotta get you the Super Bowl, so. 98 overall team of the year, Darren Waller. Gold 99, Darren Deardorff, Robert Hunt, Jason Kelsey, Zion Johnson, and Anthony Munoz. Two incredible offensive linemen on either side of the tackles. And Robert Hunt has a free post-up ability, and Zion Johnson's got it as well, so I feel good all across the board there. Defensively, so many monsters who've made so many big plays for us. William Perry, we pulled in a pack. And guess who else we pulled in a pack? Golden ticket, CJ Gardner-Johnson. Some of my best Wheel of Mutt pack luck ever. We got the gold 99 power-up player, Anthony Barr. Worked our asses off to earn him. Clay Matthews, a spectacular linebacker while we upgraded Anthony Barr. Devin White, gold 99, Lawrence Taylor. How are you gonna mess around with that? Gold 99, Sean Taylor, an amazing prestige. Gold 99, Jalen Ramsey, an amazing prestige. I think my prestiges were so on point this year. Julio Jones at corner three, Aaron Donald, Vince Wilfork, Ed, Tutal Jones, and 98 corner, Randy Moss. Devin White's next gen stats. He has 71 TFLs, 20 sacks, 49 interceptions, 1,374 interception return yards, 19 forced fumbles. Those are pretty much all at the start of the season when he was coughing up fumbles like crazy. 14 recovered, three safeties, 12 interception touchdowns, four fumble touchdowns. Fucking sick. Stats on Jalen Ramsey, 83 interceptions, three sacks, 13 TFLs. Very cool. He also has 14 forced fumbles from Jalen Ramsey. That is a big hitting corner. Very impressive for him. Dude, Darren Waller's next gen stats had to be so stupid, right? 602 catches, 11,000 yards. 602 catches, 11,000 yards is fucking insane. All right, boys, without further ado, let's get our wheel spin in. Let's embark on the Super Bowl and get a fat W. Let's go. All right, our first wheel spin. We're gonna need something really good to upgrade this team, but we kind of knew that going in. Our first wheel spin, just like the CJ Gardner Johnson one, I have a shot at getting a golden ticket. 10 rerolls. Now, this one's actually like the way that this spin was engineered was that I would go into training and I would do a reroll like, you know, an Easter 90 plus reroll or any of those rerolls. Unfortunately, those no longer exist in the, in the store, but the training variety pack does. I'm gonna be honest with you 10 training variety packs is probably gonna be dog shit. There's a chance at a golden ticket just like there was a chance at a golden ticket before. I get to take one player out of these 10 training variety packs to add to my team. If I get nothing usable in the 10, I get nothing usable in the 10. Without a doubt, the dumbest shit that EA does every year, because I, I need to shit on them real quick. Why are you releasing sick-ass alternate uniforms in May? You released all of the sick-ass ultimate uniforms on May 14th or 13th, whatever they did? Also, I just, did I just pull a good Michael Vick or is that a shit Michael Vick? Number one, why do I have to pay for jerseys in a fucking video game? We don't care. I get paying for like a gold 99 good player, coins or whatever. The way much should work is as soon as you load up the game, you have access to choose any single jersey that you want. Classic, old school, doesn't matter for your team. But yeah, in, in these training variety packs, you can pull those jerseys. I'm glad they're at least in the game. I'm glad they didn't neglect it the whole year. Looks like there's a lot of ultimate legends in these though. That's our sixth pack right there. Sam Mike Will, you know what's actually nice about these? I'm realizing I don't have any good strategy cards. I rip a lot of these. I could really get good strategy cards. I get a lot of L's. This is pack number eight. William Perry, also an L. Listen, I think I used all my luck on that CJ Gardner Johnson. Wait, wait, this is my 10th pack right here. Yeah, Ooh. I think it's shit. All right, boys, it's the Super Bowl. Our second and final wheel spin of Madden 22. It's gotta be something crap if it's the final wheel spin of Madden 22. 97 to 99 positions, Will. Wait a minute, it's not cracked yet. And so I can get a gold and I can get a golden ticket. But it's gotta be a good position, don't you dare give me special teams. Wide receiver? Wide receiver. Do I go get golden ticket at two tall Jones? Michael Parsons was tweeting about this. It's been a long time since there's been a wide receiver this broken. 329,350 coins for golden ticket at two tall Jones. That is what you need to walk into the Super Bowl with. We have a 97 two tall on defense and now a gold 99 on offense. So Cooper Cup now is wide receiver number three and slot, which I like better. And then up here, Ed two tall Jones, 95. Let's just take a look at this golden ticket. Six foot nine, 96 speed, 96. 97 jump, 99 catch, 98 catch in traffic, 99 spectacular catch, 92 short, 99 mid, 99 deep. All right, boys, the moment of truth has come. Now, normally I'd spin the challenge wheel here. I have a, I have a different idea that I've actually been, been concocting. There's gonna be no challenge wheel here, and I don't wanna foreshadow anything, but after this Super Bowl, there may still be 
a grand finale. But for now, we're not worried about that. For now, we're worried about the one game that stands between us and the perfect end to a season. They almost didn't even make it here, but here we are in the biggest game. One loss remaining. It's time, gentlemen. Super Bowl! Steelers man. All right, he's definitely a Steelers fan. The Super Bowl is MMG's squad in my classic Jordan unis against the Steelers in their alternates. The coin toss is, I think we just won the toss. All right, he's got Madden Machines Tyree Kill, which makes all his wide receivers, tight ends, and maybe quarterback better. I'm gonna go two tall Jones underneath. Let's get to the quarterback. What's he gonna throw? That's a bad ball. Come on! Oh! No! Shot! You just aggroed me on the first play! Unlucky start to the Super Bowl. Doesn't matter. I'll fucking chew the clock. He's gonna throw half back. It's mine if you do. I'm on your ass! Mm. Second and ten. Okay, throws underneath. Good spin, another good spin. God damn, and he's got Najee just like me. Why are you chewing clock? This game just fucking started. Got him, let's go! Why are you fucking chewing clock? I hate kids like this. This is an absolute clamp right now. Oh shit. You're there! Come on, Randy Moss! Another run, and he's stuffed! Negative two from Najee, and he's in no huddle. Let's go! Do the fucking clock in the first quarter. Let's go, boys. Mine! Devin White! I fucking own you! Let's go! Come on! How's that two clock working, buddy? Let's go! First and 10, Super Bowl 56. Let's get the ball in Najee's hands. That's my boy. That's my boy! Beauty, oh, beautiful truck, Najee. Beauty, beauty! Look at this, man. Actually, pretty good strafe right there. That would have been a touchdown. Keep going, Najee. Good block, Zonka. Come on! Come fucking on! Four rushes, 51 yards. You think I'm switching up? You out of your mind? I own you. I own you! I think I'm gonna roll out left side. Go, Josh. <laughs> Let's go! Josh Allen is in! That's the first touchdown of the Super Bowl. Goes rushing to Josh Allen. Najee averaging, he's averaging 12 a carry. Six rushes, 72. I'm in man, this is bad. We just gotta do it right here, boys. Uh-oh. Did I just get torched by Tyreek? I did. I'm actually okay with this. I know you guys are gonna call me an idiot, but this guy has been chewing clock since first quarter. The worst case scenario was he chews clock and scores a touchdown, or he chews clock and kicks a field goal. In this scenario, are you serious? Can I call timeout here? I can't even call timeout. I just think I, I, think I just have to take the L. Okay, we're good. In this scenario, I can chew the clock and score, then get ball at half. Beautiful blocks. Beautiful fucking blocks. Get ran over! Beautiful blocks. Wait, I might just go touchdown. I knew he'd strafe! All right, I finally figured out how to beat his strafe. Next time, I'm gonna fake inside, go back outside. Stretching right. Ooh, he knew. Oh, I got freight train! Najee went back to back in the playoffs, X-Factor activated. I think he guessed to the side I'm, I'm heavy. He did. Touchdown. Come here! I'm at a 23 and three timeouts, he can easily get down the field. I need to stop thinking so hard. If I just keep scoring, I don't give a shit. Twice! You got the first one, buddy. This game's over. Let's keep freight train up. Mm, keep it up! Come on! Come on! Najee Harris is unstoppable! Come on! Let's go! He's gone! Close him out! Maybe not. He didn't leave. Najee fucking Harris with the X Factor lit up. Fucking bowled him over and took that bitch to the house. Let's let's lurk the tight end here. He wants to throw a tight end. Actually, no, he wants to throw deep. He wants to throw Tyreek. I'm following it. Sir. Julio fucking owns you. This game's over. Julio! First thing goal, Najee still lit up. How could I not run the ball? Oh, he run commits. No run commit, yes sir. Freight train, hmm. His two tall Jones got back to me there. Three possession game no matter what. He could score two touchdowns and get both two points. He'll have 23 points. I can't tell if he's just tilted or, or what he's trying to do here. Yeah, he's just pissed off. 
Dude, on his opening drive, he was like playing really well. He had really good plays and then he got held on the final play on that fourth down and now he's just too pissed off to play. You know what? I think I'm actually realizing an unsung hero, which is golden ticket wide receiver Ed Tutal Jones is an incredible blocking wide receiver because he's gigantic. I haven't really like considered it yet, but he is. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, man. But... Oh, he's just breaking every tackle. I don't have to do anything. Freight train is stupid. Third and nine. Go with the handoff. Oh, he's in there. Oh, no TFLs today, baby. Dude, this guy literally has no idea how I play offense. He has no idea what plays I run because I haven't ran any of them. I've ran run plays and that's it. And Waller's there. Oh my God, he's so open. I'm lagging. Still got it. That was the nail in the coffin. Ah, uh, Josh Allen can probably just run this in. He can. Another one for Josh Allen. Sorry, Najee, but uh, Josh Allen also has two rushing touchdowns. Get him out of there! Let's go! When people rage quit the Super Bowl, it sucks because I miss seeing the confetti. But get shit on! Let's go, boys! We closed it out! We didn't just close it out. We fucking dicked on him. Oh, my God. Sorry that uh, Ed Tutal Jones couldn't do anything, but it was the Najee Harris show. I have never seen a halfback go that fucking off. Let's give a round of applause to all of the players that made this possible. I want to give a round of applause to all of you for watching. Ed Tutal Jones, Booper Bup, Najee, Zonklers. Josh Allen, DK Metcalf, Darren Waller, Dan Deerdorf, Robert Hunt, Jason Kelsey, Zion Johnson, Anthony Munoz. I think I have to go get a Najee Harris signed jersey now. I gotta go get a Najee Harris jersey and put it up on the wall so we can remember what he did for us here. There were a lot of players that are impactful for us this year. Jalen Hurts, who could forget about Jalen Hurts' season? I've got his jersey. James Robinson, our first ever power-up player, the brand new idea we had this year. Saquon Barkley, Darren Waller, Zonklers. How could you forget about Zonklers, dude? What a season, boys. I... Just want to say, ladies and gentlemen, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. If you were a big enough stud to make it all the way to the end of this video, I want to clue you in. There will be a grand finale. So this may be the end of Madden 22 Wheel of Mud as you know it, but I have one more video. And trust me, you're going to want to see it. It's going to be titled The Wheel of Mutt Madden 22 Grand Finale. And don't be shocked if that video is about an hour long. I love you, boys. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.